guys thank you so much for your visit to our family we need your support and love please press subscribe button and bell icon it's totally free good luck for your exams now enjoy the video hey guys can you recognize this person he is the writer the editor and the critic thomas stern Elliot. and today we are going to talk about this man let's talk about a little about his life and then we will be discussing about his uh, important works all the important works in this video we will be talking about so about his life i have already made a video but let's talk about a little bit more he was born in st louis missouri and in 1910 he studied in paris at the Sorbonne. 1915 he married the british ballet dancer Vivienne hagwood he established himself as an important avant-garde poet in 1922, he edited the Criterion, the intellectual magazine, his professions including being a poet, a critic, and editor. He became director for the publisher Faber and Faber. This is an important question asked in several exams that which, uh, which of the work he uh, became the director of. So he became director for the publisher Faber and Faber. <clears throat> He acquired British citizenship and converted in Anglicanism. Uh, so it is also important question. When did he acquire British citizenship? So it was 1927. In 1930, the, for the next 30 years, he was considered as the most dominant figure in poetry and literary criticism in English speaking world. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1948. This is also a very important question and he died in London in 1965. Let's talk about a little his work. His important work is Prefrog and Other Observation. I have already made video on this and explanation and analysis of the poem. Before the conversion to uh, and getting uh, British citizenship. He wrote 1917 Perfrock and Other Observations and in 1922 The Wasteland. Very important and I am going to make a detailed video on The Wasteland. Keep in touch and subscribe the channel. It is said to be the single most influential work, poetic work of the 20th century. The Hollow Man in 1925. He wrote Murder in Cathedral after conversion. In 1927, he wrote Aerial Poems, 1930 Ash Wednesday, 1935 and in between 1935 to 1942, Four Quarters, in 1935 Murder in Cathedral, Family Reunion in 1939. T.S. Eliot's World and the 19th Century World, this is a very, very important things to know about modernism if you are always confused about the word modernism and postmodernism you should know these words and these are the terms you should know and if you know these terms you will never be confused and let's have a look uh look between the differences uh between modern t.s Eliot's world and 19th century world modern world is chaotic futile Pessimistic, unstable, loss of faith, collapse for moral values, confused sense of identity. In 19th century world, you can see ordered, meaningful, optimistic, stable, faith, morality, values, clear sense of identity.